Hey everyone, Derek here with a quick news update on Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as Sakurai has had yet another interview, this time with Nintendo Dream. And they talk about quite a few things like bosses, voice acting, the spirits mode, world of light, and it's all pretty conventional stuff, sort of giving insight into the development, how much of a hand he had in each of these aspects, and the like. And this was all translated by Nintendo Everything, which we have a link to in the description below. However, the really interesting part about this interview is that he did talk about his health during development of Ultimate and he did set out to try to be more healthy this time around. So as a principal, he always left the office by 10 p.m., no matter what else was going on. Unfortunately, he still ended up with stomach problems during development, so symptoms like food poisoning would happen on occasion, and he would end up going to the hospital to get it taken care of and looked at. But rather than take any time off to recover, he would actually work normally while connected to an IV drip in order to keep his health up. So he kind of just chuckles to himself and says that he's a hard worker, but it is still kind of crazy to imagine him connected to an IV drip and just plugging away at this game. And that's even more impressive because, as he says, he's a freelancer, so there's no strict rules on his time. As long as he can complete the game, he could show up to the office only once per week and still be mostly forgiven but instead he makes sure to work every day and write proper daily reports and everything else. So it comes across that he's working this hard because he wants to be fair to his team. However, he did take some time for a vacation, a whopping three days worth, from December 22nd to the 24th, but he just can't take off a lot of time around the holidays because they're still working on the DLC, so his staff would have to handle his share of the work if he were gone. Not only that, but they wouldn't be able to consult with him on Joker's development, so his presence is kind of necessary for the DLC. And it's really interesting to see how much he pushes himself, and a little bit interesting to see what kind of leader he is. So from this perspective, he seems to be pretty inspiring as he's always there to work with his employees. But what do you guys think about this? Let us know in the comments, and of course be sure to subscribe to Game Explained for more on Smash Ultimate, and other things gaming as well. Until next time, bye!